Bud from Ruby's Saltpeter release on Work Records. I'm Chris Doritas. Morning becomes eclectic. This is KCRW. Ruby's appearing at Dragonfly in Hollywood, a sold-out show tonight from the UK band. And we are joined in the studio by uh, two, the two forces that are Ruby, Leslie Rankin and Mark Walk. Um, you know, listening to this album the first time, I remember when we first got this, I was like, wow. She was in Silverfish, and, and Mark, he comes from Pigface. This is really uh, some telling stuff here, because <laughs> not only, like you said, you know, you've brought some melody to the table, but, but there's also, I don't know, a, a whole different side of your influences and tastes. You, we can hear your voice. You know, we can hear it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, uh, I w- the thing that I would want to say about Pigface is um, more that um, that isn't really ever where I was coming from, but I was hired and paid to work on that. Mm. And um, it was interesting what they were uh, doing with, with uh, noises, and, and it was a fun place to experiment around with production. Yeah. But it, it isn't uh, song-based material, and uh, which really, although I really l- like the experimental side of it, I've really have always been into the, you know, four- and five-chord song. Well, what what other artists um, would you say have been a big part of your record collections over the years that maybe are now coming to the surface a little more with Ruby? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'd, uh, throughout my life, I've uh, always listened to very diverse things, from everything from Aretha Franklin to Nine Inch Nails and Bulgarian choirs and stuff like that, and it's still going on. And I've now gone back to listening to Simon and Garfunkel and, and stuff, you know, so... I think it, it. I think um, most of, for most of the time there, there's there is not any music that I'm listening to that has a direct influence on what kind of music I want to make. You know. Yeah. It's just. Uh, Maybe the more the the philosophy that the people who are making the records that you're listening to live by, rather than just um, lifting from them. Like um, I listened to a lot of very early Brian Eno, like in the 1975 period and um, early XTC. And there have been some modern bands that have experimented around with textures like My Bloody Valentine that, that I'm really into. Yeah. Well, uh, you've hit on uh, several of the philosophies that the music uh, mix here at KCRW is built on. So uh, Ruby is, is definitely, it's understandable why this band has topped our charts here for the last few weeks or so. Um, it's, uh, again, very exciting to have you guys in studio with a guitar. Um, and this is actually yet another <coughs> experiment, another um, acoustic version of something from the Salt Peter release. Um, this one's, this is Tiny Meat, right? Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. Leslie Rankin and Mark Walk of Ruby in studio. <laughs> It's always interesting to me to hear the sort of skeletal layout of, of songs, you know, because first of all, you can tell which songs uh, are more durable. Mm. <laughs> you know, a lot of songs, when you bring them into an acoustic setting, sometimes they just fall apart. They don't work so well. well, well, well 
I don't know. I, I mean, that that is just just uh, indicative of a good song, you know, and good structure and and, and stuff, you know. And, and perspective, because what we were, we didn't spend a lot of time working these out, but what we did was, um, obviously, as you know, there's a lot of production on the record, but um, uh, for the acoustic stuff that we put together for this, we replaced um, production with uh, chord structure, so that like. There's chord progressions in in areas of Tiny Meat that we just did that um, are normally filled by uh, percussion on on the record and and paraffin is to chordally totally different the way we did it here. Yeah. In order to make it work in this arena, you know. It's interesting. It's kind of funny though. I mean, this is like working completely backwards. I think a lot of people probably start writing on an acoustic this guitar way, yeah. and they <laughs> take it into production and it's like we we wrote straight down on on the, the, the computer computer <laughs> and it's like. Yeah, but see, you're still coming out the other side, and it still works. So mm -hmm. that's that's definitely a good sign. Now, uh, what's up for for the future of Ruby? You guys are beginning your tour here in the states, mm -hmm. um, and then um, uh, are you at work on songs for a next album? Is there stuff? Uh, we probably will be tomorrow at some point. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back up to Seattle and see if we can. Um, write some other stuff, but I mean, basically, it's touring for yeah. for quite a while. Mm. We have four days in the studio, so we're, you, we're gonna hammer out another yeah. couple of albums. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I do get the feeling though that you are really fueled by this uh, this release that you have before you with this project that allows you to do whatever the hell you want to do. Mm. Well, yeah. That was a bit of the point of the way that we um, put it together. Is um, it, it's it's really uh, open ended, and I think. A, a <coughs> My impression is what people are liking about it um, is the adventuresome spirit of the record, maybe even more than anything. So, and, and we've tried to create this situation where we're not pigeonholed to do any one thing. What people are expecting us to do is the unexpected. You know? Now, uh, I want to clarify this. Uh, tonight at the Dragonfly, it will be a full band performance. It's uh -huh. a, a touring band that you guys have put together to execute the songs that are on the album. <coughs> But let me ask you this. Mark, how come you're not part of that touring band? How come you're not performing with the band? Because um, my, I'm, a, I'm a studio rat. I t I'm in the studio 18 hours a day. It's, it's, it's where I live. So um, I think you're going to see a lot more of that in the future in, w with regards to a lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of performers and artists wanting to perform like Leslie and a lot of people like me who are into what they're doing who won't compromise that just because... You know, some rule of thumb says, well, you need to record an album and you need to go out and do this with it. But um, also, I can't sing like Leslie, so if I could be on the front of the stage pulling him, pulling him in, I might. You know, that would probably be something that I would do. Yeah, I guess the fact that you're not a a, a human voice that's part of the band it allows you to stay home. Right. Whereas if Brian Wilson or Andy Partridge could clone themselves, they they would have saved the touring aspects of of their respective projects. Right. right. Yeah. So, uh, well, I guess that that uh, that explains it all. We're gonna um, we're very much looking forward to the future of this project because we're very excited about this album. Um, and I want to thank you wholeheartedly for you. arranging yeah, these songs for us this morning in uh, an acoustic performance. It's Leslie Rankin and Mark Walk of Ruby. The album is Salt Peter. The band Ruby, headed by Leslie Rankin, is appearing tonight at Dragonfly in Hollywood. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks.